Hi everybody, I'm John Finn, and we have an unboxing and review. What's in this package? I don't know. Let's find out. Well, I do know, but I'm, you know, for the sake of tension. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get this thing open. Let's just rip it open. We got a flyer here. Who is this from? Oh, it's from Ringside. Get rid of this box. You know what we got? You know what we got? Luchasaurus! I am so stoked for this. When AEW figures were announced way back, early 2020, I think it was, I was so excited for this guy to get released. He's been on back order for months. I finally got mine from ringside. I only got it like two weeks after I ordered it, so that was really sweet. And I'd been thinking about buying the Jurassic Express damage packaging, but it was $60, and I don't really want Jungle Boy that much. Bless his heart, it just, just doesn't appeal to me right now, but Luchasaurus is just a must-have. So let's rip this bad boy open and see what we got. Shell comes off. Get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, he comes with a couple of extra hands. It looks like these might be Mike holding hands, but they're, they're kind of an open grip. Let's pop these bad boys out. We're going to take a closer look at these because they are um, pretty detailed. In fact, we are going to flip our camera around. Let's take a closer look at these hand molds if we can, or these hands. Um, yeah, look at that detail. I mean, getting the tattoos on the hands right can't be easy, but good lord. This figure is a friggin' masterpiece. Yas. Dang, it's hard to keep it focused. But you can see that they didn't they didn't skimp on the details of this. So I'm gonna put these down right here in the ring. And then we're gonna bring Mr. Luchasaur over. And we are gonna pop him out of here. Ugh. No ties, no anything. Comes out of the package real easy. This is a much more substantial figure than I expected it to be. Like the torso is really chunky. Um, not in a bad way. I like it a lot. Um, move my light just a tad bit here. Okay. Luchasaurus. First thing we want to look at is this mask. How is the detail in the mask? Pretty good. Pretty good. There could be maybe a little bit more. Uh, maybe if they put some black paint um, in the recesses of the scales. But overall, that's just a phenomenal looking figure. Um, he does have some plastic around his waist here. Let's see if we can get this off. There we go. Okay, now, this belt thingy looks like it can come off pretty easily. It's pretty stretchy. Oh, wait, is it attached to him? No, no. It's not attached to him. It's pretty stretchy. Um, so this looks like it can absolutely be removed. I think it looks really cool on him, though. His tattoos are phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Lose a little bit of detail here on the back. But that's a lot of tattoo to get right. And, and the arms feel good. Torso... Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, so that's how you can get that off real easy. Let's pop that back on. Uh, we'll just put his little belt thing over here. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of, of give down here in the waist area. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of side-to-side -side motion compared to the others. Uh, he is a bigger guy, though, so that kind of makes sense. This is probably the biggest AEW figure I've bought. Um, the boots look fantastic. It's got plastic tasseling going down the back. 
Um, knee pads look pretty okay. There's not a lot of detail there, but there's enough to kind of make it stand out. The tights look good. Um, I, I, I think Kenny Omegas are probably the best, my favorite of the tights that we've seen so far. You've got his gauntlets here, or van braces, whatever you want to call them. Um, I guess they'd be van braces. Nice, nice paint on these. Like, there doesn't seem to be any kind of bleed over on these at all, They're, like, that I can see. And I don't have the best vision. But, dang. That is some precision painting. Great head sculpt. You've got the, the details of the mask, the straps of the mask, the hair, the horns. This is just... This is a remarkable figure. The tongue, look at that. The tongue actually sticks out. It's not like one amorphous blob just kind of plopped out. It actually has shape um, and dimension. And then, oh, that's just cool. That is just too cool. Let's see how he stands up. Um, articulation, let's check that first. Shoulders are good. They're a little bit looser than the others. Ooh, look at that arm detail, though. Dang! Legs can do the splits. Uh, looser than the others, but not so loose that he won't be poseable. Elbows are fine. Wrists are fine. Head, almost no back motion. A little bit of forward motion. Side to side is just fine. And let's see how he stands up. Oh, feet. Feet. Nice detail. Nice. All right, let's see how he stands. God, I didn't realize this figure was so big. The one hand stand test. Ooh, this guy is, he's a little bit lopsided, but that's a solid figure. Let's put him up next to Cody here, just to see how much bigger this guy is than Cody Rhodes. Um, and we'll go ahead and throw Kenny Omega in for good measure. Look at that! Solid, solid day of AEW figures, I'd say. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this, this guy's belt back on him and we'll be ready to go. Um, I'm going to have to work these guys into the next issue of the comic, not the one I'm working on now because that one's already pretty much done in terms of writing. But these guys are definitely going to be big players in the future. So keep your eyes open. What a day. What a day. I've gotten three new AEW figures. Can't go wrong with that. I look super shiny because of the lighting right now. But that, it's great. It's great. I'm super happy. I'm going to flip this back around one more time. Take a last look at these three figures. Just fantastic levels of detail and, and dedication to the the art of, of toy. And I really, really really appreciate that uh, veins in the arms you've got details in the faces tattoos great tights this is just fantastic remember keep collecting the way you like to collect don't let anybody tell you the one right way or wrong way to do it whether you keep your figures mock where you open them play with them or display them whatever you do keep doing it the way you like because that's the only right way to do it till next time i'm john finn and i'm out